afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Redberry Leo here, and welcome back to another quick Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video, we're actually going to talk about shirt stays. Whether you are wearing the nice corporate white aviator shirt that's tucked in, or if you are wearing your U.S. Air Force style blues, shirt stays are extremely useful to keep your shirt nice, tight, and crisp when you are wearing it. So today's video is just going to talk about how do you actually do it correctly and kind of show that while using these beautiful things. So these are one style where you can see there's like a little loop for the foot right here. Okay, some styles actually clip onto your socks. If you have longer leg hair, it can actually be a little bit painful and it can actually pinch the hair on your legs. So be very careful about that. It's not super comfortable. And sometimes people find that even with this style, sometimes like this metal clasp right here might get stuck on you somehow. I don't know. I haven't experienced this problem personally, but some people have experienced pinching. If you wear it correctly with the metal clasp things on the outside of your leg, then I don't see that being a huge issue. And if it is, you could always wear two pairs of socks, like a longer pair of socks, and then this, and then you go on from there. But the way that you do this, I'm gonna stand up here and show you that when you do it, I'm just gonna use my my nice sweater here. So the way that you do it is you make sure that you've got the plastic piece, or at least the one that has like the little button on the back. Oh, this may be too thick. Let me see if I can do it. Will I be able to do it? No, I won't. Normally you can feel where your hip is, and I normally do it a little bit further forward than that on my shirt. And so basically I took that portion with the little button and I put it on the back side of my shirt and then I push it in so that it's in place. And then I'm gonna do the same on the back side and I'm gonna make sure that this is going to lay flat on my leg. So if you see here, right now that's gonna lay flat. So I'm gonna be able to do that. So I'm gonna actually put it, you know how you have that little bone on the back of your hips? You're gonna feel for that and then go a little bit closer to the middle of your, your body. So kind of like that on the back. So I've got a good distance between these two sides and then I'm gonna take this portion and put it under my foot. But you see how this is white? When you are doing your shirt stays, I always put it underneath my sock. So when I put on my Air Force style blues, I always like put on underwear first, not including the socks, put on my undershirt, then put my blue shirt on, then my socks, so that I'm putting it on in an order where the shirt stay will be kind of like nice and tight up against my leg because of the sock. So there's also like the color difference, you don't really want that showing. And if it's, it, it looks a little funny if you're sitting, like me bending my leg, the shirt stay, makes like the hypotenuse of a triangle and so it'll actually pull your pants leg a little bit like that it doesn't do it as much when you are wearing socks so just keep that in mind that is something that happens okay so normally we do that on both sides of the blues shirt i'm gonna unclip myself here <laughs> and that can help keep your uniform nice and tight but let's say you don't have shirt stays let, let's say you, you, you don't want to buy them and you're like, I still want my shirt to look nice and crisp. You do have a couple of options. One of them is to tailor your shirt. Some people physically take the shirt. Like, let me, let me grab the shirt here. I got my shirt right here. Hello, shirt. So some people, they physically take it to the tailor and the tailor actually removes this seam where the two parts of the fabric come together. And they actually like remove some of the fabric so that it's a little bit thinner. I don't see a reason why you need to do that if you've got the right size uniform and it just bags out a little bit. Um, so there is a hot tip that I learned. Don't mind me. I'm just, I know I'm not in regs. I'm just, I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. I promise this is just a demonstration for when I am trying to keep my shirt nice and crisp, 
and I don't have shirt stays, something you can do is you can try to pinch and pull back and then tuck it into your pants. The problem with that is typically it becomes unpinched, so you can use a safety pin, but be careful if you decide you want to do that. If you do use a safety pin, then it can actually create holes in your blouse if you're making it too tight and it gets pulled. So be careful with that. But you can use a, a small, small safety pin. Let's say that I am, I want to pinch it like this and I'm pinching it backwards. Then I would go through the fabric like this. And I would make sure that it's hidden and tucked in. Like if you're wearing an out blouse, you don't need to worry about keeping your shirt nice and tight. But that would be right here. This would be underneath where my pants are because currently <laughs> the pants ride pretty high on me. Um, so that part would be underneath where the shirt is tucked in. If you're ever using things to keep your shirt tight, they should not be visible. They should not be visible. So please make sure they are not visible when you're doing that. So again, shirt stays are very useful. I, I've had this pair for, I think it's like seven years. I didn't have shirt stays for a long time, but then the, after the first time I used them, I was like, I really like these. So if you see yourself being active in cap for a long time, or if you're planning on going into the military, or even if you wanna just look better in your suit and you want your shirt to look tighter if you go to work, Shirt stays are a pretty useful tool. So, I just wanted to make this quick resource video just as an announcement to everyone in the internet that you can use shirt stays and they're pretty useful. It's not for everyone, but if you do decide to use them, they do help with making your uniform look a little bit crisper. So, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and that is all, folks. Until next time, toodles.